Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. That's right. This is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. And hello to everyone out there. I have a special treat for you guys. Uh, going forward in these videos, I will be doing them in QuickBooks 2013. That's right, we're out with the old, in with the new, and uh, let's get to it. So, in this video over here, I'm going to basically show you how to do a customer refund, whether you overcharged or you simply want to refund altogether. So, first thing to do is to actually create the invoice. That way, we have something to delete. I'll just do it off customer one. Actually, I'm going to create a new customer for this example. I'll just do a quick add. And for the item, I'm going to call it product 5. And we will do $50 right here. Let's make it non-taxable for now. And there we have it. So we have our invoice. I'm going to do save and close. I'm going to go to customer, receive payments. So now that we've created the invoice, we're going to receive the payment. So customer four, it was for 50 bucks. And save and close. So that's step number one right there where we created the invoice, we received the payment. Now the next step will be to set up the credit for the refund. Okay, now that could be for a lot of different reasons, whether you overcharged or simply just returning the whole item. Okay, so one way to do it, of course, is to go back to the invoice and uh, simply change the amount. Let's say it was supposed to be $40, not 50. So you could do 40. You'll see over here, balance due is negative 10. So that's one way to go about it, okay? Another way to go about it is customers and create credit memos. Same thing, I would choose the same customer, product five. Over here, I could do a credit memo for $10 if that was the case or 40, either way. So, uh, those are really the couple ways of doing it, okay? And let's take it to the next step. So, let's say uh, I will do a credit memo for $10. I overcharged by $10. Next, over here, I could either use the credit to give refund or I could use it to apply to invoice. In this case, we will do a refund. So, I'm going to use the credit. Then over here, takes me to the screen where it's asking how do I want to issue the refund. Now if I'm going to cut the guy a check or the lady a check, uh, then I'm going to choose check if it's credit card cash. So you choose the you know method payment over here. But let's just for argument's sake say we're going to cut a check. And so it's going to be $10. The account is going to go under the checking one account. And is it to be printed? Are you, you know writing it manually? Uh, let's say it's to be printed, so I'm going to hit OK. Let's save and close this. Let me close this out over here. And if I go to banking, write checks, go back one, you will see that we have a check that is ready to be printed. I simply take it to print, print check. And of course, there's so many other ways to go about it. Uh, but this is one example, but the idea is this is how you want to do it which is either change the invoice amount do a credit memo and then either give it a credit or send it to a refund and there you go guys that wraps up this lesson we have many more on our website a lot of cool contests a lot of cool stuff and now yes quickbooks 2013 in the house and that concludes this lesson uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.